So in this video, I'm going to test uh, both of these uh, videos from raw.film. Thanks to their website, I can download some uh, videos, 8K videos. Now, obviously, I can't shoot this. I don't have the uh, this uh, equipment to film the videos, 8K, 5, 5K, 8K. So I'm going to download from their website. Thanks to them uh, and credit to their website. And I'm going to use it to test those videos on MacBook Pro M3 16 inch 18 um, GB. So let's see. Let's see how, how it works, how it performs. So first, this is the 8K video. Uh, I just uh, seems like the the cursor started lagging. Now it's not lagging. So probably the video was logging uh, was like loading. So here's the sequence uh, sequence settings. Okay, so we do have the frame, the same frame. Okay, so now let's play the video. Let's see if there's any lag. Okay, we don't have any lag, but the cursor, as I said, sometimes is like kind of like sluggish or starting uh, lagging. Okay, is even the cursor lagging? Yeah. I would say if you are obviously, if you're doing this professionally and you want to use this macbook pro 16 inch 18 gb for professional work like we use using this kind of footage obviously it's better to use a to buy a macbook with more gb like you know if i decrease the quality the playback quality Okay, now it's smoother, that's for sure. I think this is playing here with 10 FPS probably. So that's obviously it is something that we don't want. And um, for just a second, I'm just testing to see how it performs when I'm selecting render in and out. Obviously now we shouldn't uh, lag because there's some frame drops when I'm uh, playing the video. There's clearly there we don't have 30 FPS. So let's see. Now because the bar now is green, this is not uh, lagging anymore, and we can play full resolution playback full resolution works without any issue now let's test the other one the 5k video now this is a 5k video let's click on sequence settings and here as you can see this is the frame size and likewise uh, when I'm playing the video, I do have uh, some cursor lag and the video the video is actually playing uh, 30 FPS, I believe, right now. Yeah, it's playing without any issue. I don't have to render this in and out. So I think, in my opinion, if you're editing 5K, I think this MacBook will do the work. Now, obviously, if you add some effects, it's going to lag, but you can, of course, render this in and out. And uh, it's going to fix the problem. But still, for really professional work, if doing this professionally, uh, I, I don't recommend this. Better, better off just investing. If you're planning to do this professionally, if you're planning to really 
really do this professionally it's better to simply buy one with a better what's more gb you know and uh yeah i don't know what if what i'm even doing right now but anyways i don't want to make this video too long i'm really rambling so yeah that's the video i hope you found this helpful i hope this helped you so yeah thanks for watching if you did like this video subscribe